Hello again. Welcome back, everyone. This is Andrew and Nick here with another reaction for you. Um, Nick, as we work through the latest and earliest tool works, we would be remiss if we didn't go and check out a little bit of Pustifer. Um, I don't really necessarily think that we need to go song for song for song. There's a lot, as I've said before, mixes in there, but some of these songs, especially from my perspective, speak true to kind of what we're, what we're driving at here on the channel. So we're gonna take a listen to today, uh, The Mission, M is for Mila Mix. This features Mila Djokovic. She is the lead actress in The Fifth Element. Uh, classic okay. sci-fi movie. Um, she also has some solo uh, projects herself with music. So I believe that during the forming of Pussifer, they were friends somehow before and they got together to help produce this music. And this is really a, a great piece of art, I would say, uh, you know, coming from a knowing about World War II heritage kind of background. Mm. Um, it really rings out as a protest song to me or a song to at least bring awareness to the people in the streets there um, and the only reason I really say that up front is because you don't really get a whole lot from a title like the mission M is for Mila Mix um, but yeah should be a lot of fun okay cool well yeah instead of belaboring it anymore let's uh, get right into it let's listen for the let's listen to the mission here we go what do you know What do you know? The birds and the bees got wise to the light. What do you know? So they took to the trees and took to the skies. What do you know? On top of the chain and safe from the rain. What do you know? Would you know about the ways of the underside? What do you know? Bought a hot shot cat by my North and Guinea. What do you know? Cause the hip to the pool and the hip to the right. What do you know? And I yap with your ass cause you ain't got a penny. What do you know? Would you know about the ways on the underside? What do you know? I'm a North Bank Now I feel the lights, time to get up I'll turn it aside 
Again, uh, I think what I had to say about the the last Pucifer track we talked that we listened to is, I like how mm. different it is. You know how experimental it yeah. is. How he's branching out into into you know completely. Different. There's a lot of electronic sounds. He's sitting. I think not he, but yeah, they bring in a lot of different artists. They uh, put together a lot of beats on the tracks. Um, there's a few songs that even feature some auto tune which is really weird. He doesn't use it to bring his voice into octave. He uses it to like drag it out of octave for an uh. effect. It's, it's kind of, kind of interesting, but yeah, again, um, you know, I get a very, let's march, let's get in the streets. Now it's time to rise up kind of feeling from this. Um, I see a lot of people liking this to the stock market, hip to the bull, uh, any up with your ass. Cause you ain't got a penny. There's telling us that, you know, we got to, literally get out of the streets we'll take to the skies we'll take to the streets we'll eat the fucking rich if that's what it takes because once the money becomes worthless go get our gat from a north end guinea <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I i don't know i mean i think it's it's pretty obvious that you know when i mean once like you say, once the once the money is worthless, uh, all we have left is our our physical being to uh, to go forward with, right? So, anying up with our ass, whether you're, you know, a, a wage worker or a soldier, or I mean, in the end, the only the the last thing we have to offer on the on the altar of you know, uh, the economy or even just existence as yeah. it is. The last thing we have to offer is our own bodies. And um, yeah, is it, I guess the, the, the question becomes, you know, how moral is the system that's going to, you know, ask people right. to make that sacrifice the sacrifice of that, their own bodies, their own lives, right? Yeah, and that calls back to, you know, the, the repeating tone of what do you know? Um, it's, you may think you have these things figured out. You may think you know how these things work, but until you hit that new bottom, until you hit that new low, until you see the perspective of those around you, what do you really know? Um, and he's making those call outs to the underside, the underbelly, those that work in the night and in the shadows the forces that we don't really see what do we really know about them yeah, yeah. Um, and it's not until we reach that awareness of oh this is actually going on around me that we can start to march in that direction yeah, whether it yeah. be for change or submission you know i recently i i saw i saw somebody post something on my on my not somebody posted on facebook about how how Bezos and Gates have like have made so much more money uh, throughout this whole six month crisis that we've been through and uh, people not understanding exactly how that's possible, not understanding that, wait, you know, when the market goes down, you can short it, you can bet against the market and make a bunch of money as it drops and then bet with the market, make a bunch of money when it goes back up again. And so many people don't seem to be aware of exactly how money is just created out of thin air and how it's this, this silly, almost childish point system that, uh, okay, <laughs> these guys have got points beyond what they could ever use in terms of consumption, but those points give them something more, which is power right? Okay. Well, why don't I have so many points? Well, because I didn't, I didn't inherit them from somebody else, or I didn't create a whole entire new industry where I got to earn them or mm -hmm. uh, create mm -hmm. them from something else. But, you know, points, these points are created all the time. So the, the ultimate question comes down to, you know, 
what uh, what level of morality are we going to exercise with those points? Because in the, in the end, you know, I have made a lot of money in my life. I have lost quite a bit of money in my life. Um, I've only ever made three children. And I hope to never lose any of them. I mean, those three, that number three is so much more precious than any billion of anything else I could ever make. Hmm. So if that's something I could recognize in my own private life, you know, maybe we should start to, to expand that to our public understanding as well. Beautiful. Love it. Anyway. Also think that if uh, we had to, we could probably take Bezos in a one-on-one -on -one fist fight as well. So oh, I, I don't know. I mean, get, that, that might be a black belt. Who knows? <laughs> He does have a lot of money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably did a little bit of training. He probably he's did. definitely got more free time than we do. He absolutely. Probably <laughs> pay somebody to beat us up, as it were. Oh, my now, gosh. He could pay me to beat myself up. I would, I would totally do it. Annie up with your bodyguard because you got all the pennies. Exactly. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, with that, this was, uh, you know, another great puts for track. We're going to keep floating around expanding into different artists as well uh so thanks so much for watching if you like the video hit the like button subscribe to us if you haven't already check out the backlog of tool albums that we have and tune in in the next couple of weeks for more fear inoculum and more opiate thanks nick thank you we'll see you all next time Bye bye <laughs>